Hello everyone, you're watching PC Helper and welcome to another video in the Python 3.9 tutorial series. If by the end of this video you feel like you have learned something today, then please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to PC Helper for regular content. So in this video we'll be talking about break and continue statement in Python. So first of all open your PyCharm and here as you can see something is already written on my screen. So it is the concept of commenting in Python. So to make you understand about comments in Python, first of all, let's print something. So let's say let's print PC helper. And when I'll execute this program, only PC helper is printed and rest everything is as it is. As you can see, there are four lines of code, but it did not impact the output of the program and also did not give any error also, not even a syntax error or nothing. So these are called comments. A comment is used to make our Python program more readable. So for example, you made a program, but now your coworker has to work on the same program. To make it readable for other users and for yourself also in future use, we use comments. So as you can see, if you are writing print PC helper, you can just add four spaces here and just write hash. And after everything, after hash, if you write anything, it will be a part of a comment. So you can just write in this line, we printed PC helper. So this is a comment. It won't impact our code. If I'll execute the program again, the output is same, but it made a program more readable. So that's what comments are used for. But if you want to write a multi-line comment, then you can just use three quotation marks. So if you write three quotation marks and anything you will write inside these quotation marks will be a multi-line comment. As you can see, I started with three quotation marks and ended with three quotation marks and everything inside it did not impact the output of the program but made the program more readable. So this is the concept of comment and multi-line comment. So now let's continue with break and continue statements. So first of all, let's talk about continue statement. The continue statement rejects all the remaining statements in the current iteration of the loop and moves the control back to the top of the loop. The continue statement can be used in both while and for loops. So I will explain it to you with the help of an example. So let's assume we have a cricket team or any other sport you like, like we have a basketball team or a football team and we have some numbers allotted to some existing players of the team as all the players in a team have jersey numbers. So we have already allotted some numbers to some of the players which are already a part of a team. So let's take a variable allotted num and make a list out of it. Uh, so two is allotted, four is allotted, five is allotted, seven is allotted, 10 is allotted, and 15 is allotted, 21 is allotted, and 24 is allotted. And only we allow numbers till 25 to be a part of your jersey number. So now let's assume a new player is becoming a part of your team. You just recruited a new player in your team. But now you want to know which numbers are available. And you because you cannot allot the already allotted number to that player. So you want to know which numbers he, are available for that player. Now I'll make a program for that using continue statement and it will help you in understanding continue statement in a better way. So let me just first start a loop for n in range. We are allowed to take number till 25. So for n in range 26. If n in allotted num. Oh, it's allotted num with capital A allotted num. Just continue. And then print n so let's see what happens now shift f10 oh for just to make a program look nice let's write here available available numbers are and now just execute a program so let's see what's happening now as you can see 0 1 3 2 is not part of available numbers because it is already allotted to some other player same goes for 4 and 5 it is not part of available number because it is already part of allotted numbers same goes for 7, 10, 15, 21 and 24 because they are already allotted so they are not a part of these available numbers. So to understand what's happening here let's read the definition of continue statement again. The continue statement rejects all the remaining statements in the current iteration of the loop and moves control back to the top of the loop. So whenever a program sees continue in a loop so what it does is it just refuses to execute the remaining lines of that loop and just again runs the loop again. So in this code, what's happening is allotted number is a list. It prints available numbers are it printed it for n in range 26. So now a loop will run from 0 to 25. 
but if in that loop n is an allotted number so if n is a part of this allotted number list it will just continue and what continue does is it will just stop the loop there and run the loop all over again it will not execute any remaining line of that code and in this case the remaining line of the code was printing the number n so it did not print for the allotted numbers so it's as simple as that so if you have any doubt you can just rerun this video and again listen to this video because it might be a bit confusing but once you'll see have a look at this example once or twice then it will be clearer for you now let's talk about break so the break statement in python terminates the current loop and resumes the execution at the next statement so to see what break do is we can just simply write break instead of continue and let's see what happens so i've run the code and as you can see after writing break only 0 and 1 was printed and after this the program was stopped so the difference between continue and break is that continue stops the execution the further execution of that loop and reruns the loop while break just stops the loop and come out of the loop so when we were using continue continue was just skipping the numbers that were a part of allotted number but when we use break as soon as it saw break it came out of the loop and executed the next statement which was part of this program so that's it for continue and break i hope you understood but if you have any doubt you can write in the comment section and if you like this video then please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to pc helper for regular content and i'll see you guys in the next one